On my lips there's a name In my life there's no place for the man that I love Sorry But I'm living my life just to sing and be free From L.A. to New York, from New York to L.A.
welcome everybody. Hello, welcome to Virtual Piano Bar. Hey, Puppet, Puppet, how you doing tonight? Mini Mr. Chris? Oh, I'm good, you threw me off. You <laughs> it doesn't take much anymore to throw me off. Oh, look at that. My dear cousin Adele Capucci. Booth is on the, she's on the your tube. She's watching on the, oh my God. <laughs> Hi, Diana. Wow, this is so fun. A lot of great friends are here tonight. And our cousin Jane. Um, and it's really cool to see all our cousins here because this is celebration of my talented cousins night. Yes, this is the night where I get to let the, Young people show you how it's done. Yes, but before we go any further, remember, we have to do our share trick because we want to share the love with as many friends. It can be enemies, it could be, we don't care. We just wanna spread the virtual piano bar love and so as many people can uh, hear and join us. And so right here we go, we're gonna do a share trick, ready? Mm. It takes love to move on, love to feel strong. After all that we've been through, mm, baby, I'm doing it for you. Oh, do you believe in? Yeah, see, that's what we got to do. It's a share trick. Yes, yeah, so guys, I've been traveling like crazy. I've been traveling all over the place, and um, I'm so glad that. Oh, I want my talkie mic ah there we go my talkie mic yeah so i was on a plane at uh, i don't know the, the, the crack of that this morning and um i was so excited that i have a show tonight with my cousins my real cousins they didn't make it up i guess you know one doesn't need to make up that they're cousins you, you know they my real cousins and um they are so talented and i came back thinking this is going to be so much fun because i'm going to get to share their amazing talent with my incredible friends and fans out there. Um, and you are just going to love, love, love them. Um, so you press the share button. Um, I hope that everyone is doing well. I hope you're getting your shots. I hope that everyone's uh, you know doing their thing. Um, and uh, I wanna say that I was in Chicago with Michael Mackesy this weekend. And what an incredible time I had. Well, it was Lee, it was with Lee. I was there, but Liberace was the one on stage. Um, and today is Liberace's birthday. Yes, I'm no longer 101 plus tax. I'm 102. Tax starts tomorrow. This is his tax-free shopping birthday day, I guess. It's, this, is the, this is the day. Um, and uh, it was cool. While I was in Chicago, I, um, you know, I've, I've beaten you guys to death with the, with the teaser trailer for Army of the Dead, um, which I am in and uh as liberace and it's in movie theaters it, it premiered in like 600 movie theaters across the country um so i suppose you know if you live in in uh you know like like places that are hidden in north dakota and things like that um you might not have it playing at your local cinema um but it is all over the place and i happen to see it at the uh, century theater in chicago and it was just so surreal to see something that i'm in a very, 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 very small part of, but I'm so happy to be in a Zack Snyder flick and in the opening credits. And then I come back in a little different uh, condition a little bit later, but man, it's out. And I, instead of beating you over the head with that uh, teaser trailer where I go like uh, in the camera, I wanted to share with you, and I'm sharing this with you now, you can actually watch the first 15 minutes of the movie on the YouTube. It's on the YouTube, and you can see the first 15 minutes, um, and so you can see part of my appearance um, in the film. Man, it's gory. It's disgusting, but it's fabulous, and it's funny. It's really funny. Um, but yes, yeah, so I can't play it for you. My God, I, I so digress. That's I'm going to put the young people on really soon. Um and I've been up since two, so please forgive me. I love you all very much, and I'm so happy that you came here tonight on this beautiful, well, it's cloudy, but beautiful night. And any night that you're here with me is beautiful. But yes, I, um, I, uh, I, I, I derailed my very own train. Um, movie, yes, movie. Oh, yes, yes, I wanted to play it for you. 
Um, I wanted to clip it out and do those first couple minutes um, where you first see me, but I can't. I couldn't put that on Facebook because, you know, there's the gore. The gore, no big deal. You can bite people's heads off. There's blood spurting, there's zombies everywhere, and then I come and do my thing. But I am in a room full of topless, topless uh, zombie showgirls. So I'm doing my opening thing, and there are bazooms everywhere. Oh, it's <laughs> straight man's paradise. <laughs> Or my lesbian friends. Yo, let's hear for the girls. Oh, I was surrounded, surrounded by boobage. And it's all right there. I am in the opening credits. And so are some of the most perfectly sculpted boobs, nips and all. Zombie cuts in some of them. It's kind of gross. but um, So I can't share that with you. But I can tell you that if you go on YouTube and look up first 15 minutes of Army of the Dead, you can see part of what I did in that movie. Um, and uh, I want to go to the theater and see, I, we hate, Chris and I hate zombie gory stuff. It's right, mini Mr. Chris, what do you think about that? Oh, that was so awful. I had to cover my eyes, except for when you were there. And then when you were there, it was so nice. <laughs> oh, yeah. It, it's not for puppets under 17, though, so you can't come. Only the Avenue you puppets can come um so anyway yeah so it comes out on netflix on friday um and it's in theaters this week which is cool hi bill casagrande that's that's a cousin of somebody i know um and so yeah enough about me i'm really excited to introduce our first guest this gorgeous young lady is probably right now at one of the most stressful points in any music major's life when they are in school getting a degree in music and a singer or an instrumentalist she has her recital coming up this weekend and i can't like it, it made my feet swell i like I, I cut my hand thinking about it was terrible i would never want to go back there never 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 keep the youth I, I can't go back and do that that was so stressful and yet she agreed to come on and chat with us tonight and we're going to look at some video footage of my darling talented gorgeous cousin camille booth hi thank you so much for having me hello gorgeous how are you i'm doing very well thank you yourself oh well i'm better that you're here now yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, she agrees. She is unanimous in that. Right. Um, <laughs> so, so you're you are in Michigan. You're in Kalamazoo right now, right? I am. Yes. You are mm -hmm. at, at at Western, and is this mm -hmm. your senior or junior recital you're doing? My senior recital. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Do, so that so you're a senior. That makes yeah, me yeah. old, and then that makes your mom. <laughs> no, this, is, this, this is our show we can say whatever we want <laughs> they can throw tomatoes at their computer but no my god your senior recital wow yes. how it's exciting so and yeah, like, i'm very excited we talked today camille and i talked um i was flying from chicago back to connecticut and i stopped in detroit and mm -hmm. i knew somehow when i was waving down there you were down there i think kalamazoo is somewhere between chicago and detroit isn't it yes my yes. geography is terrible, but yeah. I so. think so. Everyone does the mitten thing here, and I'm like, I don't live here, so I'm like all the way down. It's a whole thing. So, <laughs> but I'm sure I was in spirit waving at you. Oh my god! So, <laughs> how was this year? Were you, were you were you in school this year, or were you remote, or what? Were I you was. Doing? So it was a bit of both. It was hybrid, um, which I felt very lucky because it was my senior year, and I wanted to get the most out of my degree that I could. Um, so basically. So most of my classes were online. However, I did have um, choir in person, whether that be with octets or um, all of us spread out amongst ourselves in a group with masks on. Um, and so that was wonderful. But I also, because I was a senior, got special permission to have most of my lessons be in person, which was amazing with my talented um, and wonderful uh, professor, Dr. Carl Ratner. Oh, um, wow. Yeah. I so I... Wonderful. yeah. Yeah, I um I felt very very thankful for that, but it was totally because of restrictions and because of how often you're allowed to be in a room for however much time, you had half that amount of time to work on your pieces. And when you're working on an aria or an art song or a song cycle, and you mess one thing up and you go back and fix it, that means you don't have the rest of the time to do the rest of your repertoire. 
And so it, it took a lot of planning and tears and uh, stress to to put it all together. But I'm super excited to be performing it um, this upcoming Saturday, May 22nd at 4 p.m. So if anybody is interested um, or is a fan of classical voice, um, that will be if you search on YouTube WMU School of Music, you'll it'll see you'll see all the reminders of like when people's performances are. Um, but it will also be linked to my Facebook as well. Um, but it's it's crazy because I delayed it for the summer. And by doing so, I allowed myself a little bit more time to get everything ready. But that meant that I wasn't going from straight voice lessons into performance. It was like, now this is the time that I have to make sure everything is great on my own. Right, right. Yeah. My God. And, yeah. and so you, so it will be streaming too? Like yes. It, Oh my God. You know, streaming back when I did my senior recital was if you opened up the windows of Suli Hall at the Boston Conservatory and said, yo, y'all want to hear the piano? <laughs> yeah, that, that was streaming in my, oh my God. That is so, so, so uh, great. So I don't have to get back on a plane to come. I, I exactly. Yeah. I, so, I wish I could be there in person. Of course. I really me, do. Uh, I as well. I, it's unfortunate because, you know, I was really looking forward to performing it for friends and family. And even it will would always be live streamed regardless because I'm in Michigan and the rest of my family is everywhere else. Um, but I feel very blessed and lucky that my immediate family um, will be traveling up to uh, watch me in person perform. But I am also very happy that everyone will be able to tune in via live stream if they're interested. Oh, so, so we have some wonderful, wonderful video footage of you in all of your glory. I am just, Jesse, our, our cousin Jesse is saying hello. Did, can you see the hello. comments too? Can you see them I coming? I can, up? yes. Yay. Yay. Mm -hmm. Our beautiful cousin Jesse. This is fun. And all of our honorary, all of my fans yeah. and our friends mm -hmm. are honorary cousins tonight because we are the best and everyone wants to be part of our family, right? Of course. Of course. Well, of course. so tell me about the first song that we're going to get to hear. Absolutely. So this song, um, I'm Nobody, is from Lori Laitman's Four Dickinson songs. Um, and basically, um, I'm Nobody is the second song in the cycle. And the piece centers around a woman who identifies as a nobody. Uh, soon realizing that she's surrounded by a group of nobodies in the world, so she feels less lonely. And it um, demonstrates the sharp contrast between the somebodies who crave attention and admiration to the nobodies who are humble and private. And so basically, this is a poem written by Emily Dickinson and then composed by Lori Laitman. And it reflects upon the question of public admiration and its values in society. And it's just total fun to to watch and to sing it's my favorite piece i can't wait to everybody i can't wait to share this with you i really enjoyed what yeah. and you know camille has no problem acting a piece out too as you will see <laughs> heather will you please roll the uh the film for us Thank you. 
I love that. It really, it's, it's, yeah. and I love the way that you described it too, because, you know, it, 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 so many of us feel that way. So many of us find ourselves in that thing and, you know, oh, never judge a book by its cover and things are not always as they appear. Absolutely. Right? It's, it's mm -hmm. so true. My God, I, you are spectacular. Thank you, you are, so you are going to have a great recital. My mm -hmm. God, you're in such good voice and such a great actress. And um, I'm so glad you're here. And we have more music coming from you a little later on. But yes. right now, there's this guy that um, I know you love a lot. And I, 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 I love him to death, too. And mm -hmm. he happens to be your brother. So yeah. he's my cousin, too. Yay. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the incomparable Matthew Cha also known as Disco Volante. Hi there. Hey, buddy. How are you? I'm really well. How about you? Good. So what did you think? She did pretty well, huh? Amazing. I mean, it's one of those so sorts of music that, personally, I never got to spend too much time around when I was in school or, you know, learning music myself. So it's been really a privilege to to see her execute it so beautifully. Yeah, and, and it, it's you really do. It's... it's I. When I listen to you, I actually kind of miss, again, I'll never miss the stress of a senior recital ever again. There, there, that's, there's why these glasses are here. Um, <laughs> don't do it. Um, but I, I miss the moments in being in that, in that environment where you can absorb it all and where the music, the craft, the art, everything about it is, is just such an experience it's you know to be in school and to study it and to take pieces like that and really just get inside them and then let us all get inside what you're doing without anybody really knowing how hard you are working to do that that is it's not easy <laughs> Oh, the voice, the voice, the instrument of the voice. Like I said, I've been up since two and you can hear mine is gone for a couple <laughs> days now. Thank God I'm not a singer. Um, it's so, the, in, the voice is such a delicate instrument. And um, so, but I'm, I'm loving hearing you. We're going to hear some more from you. And, mm -hmm. um, and of course your brother, now Matthew, you sing too. I, I, I like you can I, call it that. Yeah. I think you do. I, you know, it's because, because, so you're, you're a brilliant saxophonist you're a brilliant jazz musician you are um you do you do okay so the stuff you do and i'm gonna let you talk about it more than me because you can make more sense but i remember when i was a kid and maybe even your age or younger our parents your grandparents um hmm. even you, you know my older cousins thought oh my god how do they know how to do all that technical stuff and the you know and the the, the 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 cassette tape goes in this way and that way it's like now oh my god i mean like literally i mean you know our again it's our show we can say things and they they can't get mad at us it's our show um but yeah i mean you know it was like then we knew how to make the record player go back then the things that you do with music and video and and just energy and story are so beautiful and it's it's really, I mean, I, I love tech, but I, you know, where you take things is so beautiful. And I can only imagine how much work goes into what you do. It's incredible stuff. Well, it's, yeah, in, in a way, kind of, um, I think that there are some musicians, especially in jazz and, you know, more, uh, more historically steep genres where there is very much a, a canon of who were the greats, who were the big milestones. And, you know, you had people like Herbie Hancock who really embraced new music technology. But uh, a lot of the time what I was finding was a somewhat uh, oppositional relationship in that, you know, more tech equals less musicianship. And that was sort of the that was sort of the output for a lot of people who I think started to dabble in it. Um, so I kind of took it as a challenge for myself to to see, you know, how how much can I humanize these machines that I need to rely on to to work with? How how can I use them to expand my capabilities as a solo performer? But also, how can I make them more engaging for the people who might be a little bit more suspicious of an automated future? Mm. Yeah, the, see, I wanted to say that he just says it better than I do. <laughs> that I love that. I love that, Matthew. That's really, and um, I think uh, you will all see that when we. Uh, 
take a look at this fabulous video. I think we have we have style up first. Tell us about tell us about style before right. we peek at it. Style. Uh, so this is a track that I did for my EP that I put out last summer called Hot Summer. Um, and, you know, it was a summer EP. It was meant to be sort of summery in the way it sounded. But um, there were a lot of events going on right here in America, but the sort of world round that made me really want to take a step back with what I was writing and think about, you know, music to me is this kind of wonderful thing that takes away so many surface level assessments of each other as people, you know, as humans, as, as a species even. And style, you know, is kind of the first thing that we see whenever we're interacting with somebody new. Um, it, it's kind of an aesthetic assessment, but it's also in many cases an assessment of somebody's character, of their background, of their upbringing. And, you know, in some ways that can be helpful and allow us to identify things that we might have in common with other people. But, uh, you know, there are plenty of examples that illustrate just how easy it is to find things that are um, different rather than the same. Mm. And style was kind of written with the idea of taking a step away from those things that, that you know, we see as different between each other. And maybe when you, you know, start to look in the other direction, you start to notice how many more things are really actually quite the same. And that's what that piece is about. Well, wonderful. Let's let's take a look and I'll let.
Wow. Wow. There you That's have it. Phenomenal. Now, you did all the tracks yourself. Did you do all the the keyboard track? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So the, the track was uh, all completely composed. And I think in the video, I had my tape machine running because that's basically where I put all the drums and, you know, the stuff that I had done on my keyboards. Wow. So I can focus on the, the saxophone and everything it's, else. It's phenomenal. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I got two of the most talented cousins in the world. I just do. And I'm really, really, really proud of you guys. And I'm so happy that you're here. So I uh, have convinced you, um, you promised me that you would come back in a few minutes and do a couple more uh, songs for us. And we'll chat a little bit more. Um, but I'm going to play a couple of little tunes now. And I hope I do as well as you guys. I, <laughs> I may or may not. We'll see. But guys, thank you so much for being here. Everybody is loving, loving, loving getting to meet you and hear you. So ladies and gentlemen, do make sure to follow the information that scrolls. It goes this way. I, I, if I look at the screen, it goes the opposite way. If I go backwards, it goes the right way. For their Venmo, for you can you can tip them directly. Um, and also, we'll talk about um, Matthew's new band and uh, some places where we can buy some of your fabulous music. Um, and we'll talk a little bit more with Camille later. And um, you guys, go go get a sip of something tasty. And I'll see you in a few minutes. Thank you guys so much. Sounds Thank great. you. See you in a bit. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. And thank you all for being here. I'm loving seeing David Canazero, Christina Michelle, Jack Putnick, um, uh, Ruthie. Ruthie's here. I'm trying to make sure I say hello to everybody. Thanks for joining me. I promise you, I always will bring good guests. And my darling Jane Casagrande and Adele. Adele is the proud mama. I'm going to just say it. I'm just going to say it. Adele is the proud mama, and um, she's... Uh, so special to me so i'm really really enjoying that we're having this night together and with you so um in honor of liberace's birthday i thought maybe i'd play something classical um i was going to play something liberace but i was in chicago doing that this weekend and it was a lot of fun um but instead i thought i'd try something a little classical but the other thing that I thought I'd try as soon as I finished the classical piece is um, everybody's seems to be favorite game. Um, and let's it's the try. Let's let's see if we can stump me and let's see what we can do. Your favorite Broadway songs, your favorite Broadway songs. And we're going to do the virtual piano bar pop up Broadway concerto again, like we did a few weeks ago and everyone did so well with it. And um yeah, I made it through. I forgot one that I was going to put in there. Now, I can't put every single song unless there are only four of you and I only know two of them. Then I'm screwed. Then, then it's just a, then it's a couplet. Camille will be able to tell you in, in classical, it's a couplet. Um, but uh, put your favorite Broadway songs in and I am going to take them all. And instead of playing them all, I'm going to put them into a concerto. And uh, I'm going to do that. But first, I'm going to play a little... Uplifting song by Rachmaninoff. It's a song, yeah. When you, on the virtual piano bar, pieces are songs. Cheers.
Yes, I love the hard rock. The rock monad off. Yes. Thank you, Mini Mr. Cr oh, you liked that one, huh? You liked it here. You know, I, I, I forgot to thank you for your applause, everyone. <laughs> it means a lot to us. It means a lot to all of us. Ooh, you know what I'm going to do, though? My screen, I'm going to just hop up close to the big the uh, iMac over here because we didn't turn our notifications off. So if I want to see what you guys are saying, I can't because I'm really old and can't see. Ah, woo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see where I needed to blend a little more too. <laughs> okay, so, so kids. Um, oh, oh, you know what? Speaking of uh, ladies who launch, I would like to um, give a shout out to my dear friend, Michelle Mercado Chimkin, who is our virtual piano bar cheerleader. She's my goddess. I love her to death. And she runs our, a gift shop where you can buy virtual piano bar merchandise, which I think is really, 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 really cool stuff. Um, and she has just launched a new shop. And there, there is the URL down there. And it is now called Merchelle's Gift Shop. And um, I, I'm very, very pleased that me stumbling over trying to say Michelle Mercado, Michelle, she sells the merch, the merch, the mi I'm glad she liked it. And now I've, I'm there in spirit. It is Michelle's gift shop. Now she has fabulous stuff there. She has, she has incredible, beautiful things, soy candles and, and, and lavender sachets and all kinds of gifts and things. But she also sells our virtual piano bar merchandise like this fancy little wine glass um, and all of the things say hashtag cheers those are our the, the, the glasses are that's our thing hashtag cheers the short glass the ever popular short glass um, and and so there's hats and uh, oh I don't know <laughs> maybe we'll have like uh, pretty soon we'll have uh, uh, aprons and oven mitts and things like that who knows who knows the virtual is not going away I, I, I intend to keep doing it, even though I'm starting to get gigs out on the road. Like I said, I was flying this weekend, and um, it was really great to be out with people again. Um, but I love being here with you. I love, hey, Dolph Fredericks. I was with Dolph Fredericks. He came to Chicago, and my friend Noel Shaw, who I saw here, I got to meet a lot of the virtual piano bar friends from the show. So I um, love staying in touch with you virtually and it's great when i get to see you in person so uh thank you everybody for your support and for being here and enjoying it and uh i have a great time and i'm lucky to have some great guests so all right now let's see what i'm going to do to myself what kind of torture do we have for our favorite broadway songs okay so oh, this is where i write some of these down so i see i see michelle likes if i were a rich man and of course, if I were a rich man, I would have somebody write this medley for me, and then I would just play it. <laughs> oh, Liza. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, all right. So we have rich man. We have tonight from West Side Story. Um, oh, defying gravity, of course. We got a Xanadu in there. Oh, David Canizero, I love you for that. Anthony Santamoro likes On My Own from Les Mis. We, Mark, Mark Arnold. Mark is, Mark is a wonderful fan who is um, a good friend and love to see him. He's here all the time, so we'll give him a little ladies who lunch. Okay. All right, so I'm typing these out. Oh. <laughs> Oh, God. All right, move it along, David. I just wrote, so I wrote down I was going to do On My Own from Les Mis, but I, my shorthand on the on the big pad, um, I wrote On My Les. That's a different show. Um, so after that, oh, Ladies Who Lunch, yes. On My Les, Ladies Who Lunch. Okay. Um, what else do we have? Grease. Oh, Grease. And Phantom of the Opera, all I ask of you. Okay. 
the lonely goat herd. I love the lonely goat herd. Oh my God, do I dare? I gotta let Heather and Stu go to bed at some point in time. So, all right, so <laughs> the lonely. Hey, Heather and Stu, would you come on and say hello to the people? My friends, my producers, they are expecting child very soon. And they one are in week. one week. And they are in the UK where they are all the time producing our shows. They were doing shows up until two weeks ago. And man, I, I like, I can't, I don't have the breath control, not pregnant. Well, I have a food <laughs> baby, but, but I mean, the way, the way that you were singing, well, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. So thank you for being here. I love that you're here with me. I'm going to miss you so much when you have to take care of a baby instead of this baby, but that will take precedence. I'll still be around. Uh, yeah. I love you guys. Thank you so much. All right, let's see how this goes. Okay. I think we're going to try this. Here we go. This is the Virtual Piano Bar Broadway Concerto. God help us. I can't wait to hear it myself.
I don't know why. I am so transfixed on Eponine, <laughs> loving the lonely goat herd. <laughs> Oh my God, <laughs> Frank, 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 Chimkin. Oh, thank you guys, thank you. Frank, uh, you know, you did it. <laughs> Never ever again will I think of Les Mis and Sound of Music the same way again. Well, let's welcome back my brilliantly talented, gorgeous cousins, Matthew Cha and Camille Booth. Hi, guys. Hi. Hey. That was amazing. I don't even know how you did it. My jaw was open the entire time. I just, amazing. It, it's absolute pure sideshow. It's just just about living in a circus tent, and that's that's all it takes there. Um, so I understand um, that you have a couple more tunes for us. And Camille, I think we have you queued up next. You're singing... Yes. Um, tell us about tell us about this next piece. Yeah, so I will be singing Hota. Um, it's by Manuel de Falla. It's from his uh, song cycle Siete Canciones Populares and Españoles, and um, it's uh, one of the songs in there, and it's amazing. I absolutely adore it. Um, but actually, uh, the name Hota it's a very popular dance um, from the northeast of Spain. And it is one of the most renowned triple meter forms for those music geeks out there who know what I'm talking about. Um, and it centers around a tale of a secret love that is misunderstood and questioned for its validity by others. And it also serves kind of as a melancholic farewell. So um, it's a wonderful piece and it's so much fun and mm -hmm. the range is great and big and the feelings you get listening to it and singing to it is unlike any other all right well here we go let's dazzle us with a little hota yeah.
Wow. Wow. Oh, my God. It's, it's just incredible. Um, I love that. It's such a great piece. Um, big Mr. Chris, would you say hello to the people behind the piano there? The little man and the big man over there. <laughs> You can't see. Well, we can see you. But you, when you start, Chris said to me, he said, oh, my God, I know Hota. I love that piece. Yes. And wow. Did you sing that beautifully? Thank that you That is so incredible. Much. Is that in your recital this coming weekend? Yeah. Everything I showed today will be in my recital. And it's just that piece, actually, hilariously enough, I was like, oh, gosh, I have to do another, like, part of a song cycle. Like, here we go. And then I learned about it. And I started singing it. And I was like, this is so much fun because – Technically, I'm I am a boy usually, like in this mm -hmm, um, right. scenario, and I'm basically like a little drunk, and I'm like, I love you so much, like, but nobody understands, and I, but I want people to know that I just I still love you so much, and even though your mom doesn't like me, I don't even care because I love you, and then it's like it's like you keep saying like, bye, I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, I love you. Bye, <laughs> bye. Like the never-ending phone call. Like if you were to call an Italian and you're like, hey, how are you doing? Yeah, have a wonderful day. Yeah, okay. Oh, one more thing. That's how I was. Like you're speaking from a mom, personal though. experience here. <laughs> oh, yes. Shout out to Adele. I don't even know where to go with it all. That was just fabulous. I say the Academy Award goes to Camille Booth. Thank you very much. For the, <laughs> that was fabulous. Oh, but it's it's true though. Yeah, it's like it, 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 I think the song describes me. A little bit of boy, a little bit drunk. I, I don't know. I, I I guess it could be. So we can watch your recital this weekend again by we can follow you on your socials. Is yes. that how we find you? Yeah. So there's two ways. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at Camille underscore booth, and I'll be mm -hmm. posting on my story, um, the link to my recital, um, as well as if you were to look up on YouTube, WMU school of music, you'll see Camille booth for May 22nd at 4 PM. And you'll click that. And then I'm there for those who have me on Facebook. There's an event that I am posting right after this, and um, I will invite you all. And those who want the link, I'm sure, will find a way to contact me or somebody, and then you'll get the link. I will make sure that we get the link out there. Thank you so much for – oh, I hate that we're coming to the close here because I could just hang out with you guys, and I'm sure the audience could too, but we, we're going to hear from uh, your brother yes. uh, again. And um, Matthew, tell us about this your new band. Right. Yeah. Well, you know, it's, it's interesting. I was just listening to what Camille was saying and she has it all that like, oh, this is where you sign in to, to find it. And this is the link. I imagine all the years that I just spent. It's Disco Volante, but it's with a Q, but not where you'd expect. Anyway, it's um, I, I'm not as locked in with all that. But yeah, I just started this new project called Us Non Visuals. Um, it's a project. It's based between here. Um, I say D.C. to everybody, but it's technically Maryland, uh, the overseasoned Chesapeake Bay state of Maryland. And the singer, uh, my collaborator, my partner in the band is uh, in Seoul, Korea. So her name's Song Hee Oh, and she's been really, really cool to work with. We've done a bit of stuff in the past. I've worked on a few records for her. Wow. And then kind of at the beginning of all this, we both had some work that we were thinking, you know, really would do better um, if we just made it together in a band setting. And, um, you know, because both of us are just basically in our own studios kind of bashing away, it, it's been... Um, an interesting process to get it sort of synchronous and, and really working together, but it's been a great challenge and so far it's been going great. So, well, yeah, you've been doing great with it and, and it, yeah, it is. Who knew, who knew what was going to become of this, uh, last year and a half and uh, a little bit more probably, but, um, some great stuff has happened. People have done some really great work out of this and, um, but it's, it's, it, you've kind of, you've sort of already been on the edge of this. You've, you've been doing the the studio live hybrid kind of uh, mm. thing for a long time. I, I you know I got I got to give you props for that. You've been doing that before we were many of us forced to actually learn how to create that Indeed. way and and like you said and make it humanize you know humanize the machines and all that stuff and and to put that. But you um you've been doing that since God. I think you've been doing that since I could hold you. You wouldn't you probably wouldn't like that now, but I would try. I would <laughs> try. try having a room next to him. Growing up with that, I never slept. <laughs> I'm sure all my roommates have appreciated me for that reason too. Uh, so tell us about our next song that we're gonna hear. 
I right. love this. Um, I love this one. I love Moon this. Rabbit, right? So um, this is an this is kind of a fun one. Um, so you know how here we have the man in the moon, right? Um, in Chinese legend and by extension Korean and Japanese folklore, um, instead of there being a man on the moon, there's a rabbit on the moon, and um, basically. The rabbit is there. Uh, the, the most traditional version is that he's there creating the elixir of life for the moon goddess. Uh, most modern tales say that he's actually making rice cakes instead. <laughs> but um, the story is that there's this rabbit on the moon who lives up there with the, the goddess of the moon. And um, it just so happened that I was writing this piece around the anniversary of the moon landing. And I thought it'd be a you know fun way to kind of tie in sort of Eastern culture and Western culture and put it all together in this um in this big song called moon rabbit and uh what i what we've got here tonight is the music video that i recorded to that right here in dc it's fabulous let's take a look folks eyes right stand behind i don't know if i can lie my way out of this one all your friends, they know it's true, they know there's something up with me and you now. Eyes wide, stand behind, you know just as well as I, it's too hard to hide it. Worst things you can do, you know I can't be with you better than I do. If you look into the sky with cold I'm feeling eyes, it's not an issue I tried so hard to convince myself I couldn't miss you
Wow. <laughs> I, it, 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 I tear up. I mean, it's just wow. absolutely so, so beautiful, so brilliant. I was really enjoying watching all the comments, um, you know, all night for, for both of you guys. And uh, yes, ladies and gentlemen, I have super talented cousins. Yay. And I hope that you will follow them. Um, I will also make sure. And guys, please post anything that's coming up on 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 um, my wall. Share it. I know I've I've shared um, I've shared Bandcamp links for for um, Disco Volante before on my wall. And I hope that all of my friends who got to actually get this for free tonight. This was free. This was free talent tonight. Um, please. Feel free to buy some of Matthew's music. It's incredible. Um, you'll be paying a lot of money when Camille is at the Met. Um, I, I hope that she'll at least give me a discount when it comes to her stuff. Get it, get it while you can. <laughs> <laughs> you two are so beautiful. I've loved I've loved having you here with me. And I, one of the comments I saw tonight um, from Frank Chimkin was really beautiful. And I, I'm only going to mess it up by trying to paraphrase it, but how impressed he was with your talent. But just blown away by the way there. Well, there it is. He, it's the way you both express yourselves. Um, if it's possible. Yes. I mean, my God, it's, it, it really has been such a pleasure having you both here. I can't wait to give you big hugs in person. I bet you guys can't wait to give each other big hugs in person being yes, in indeed. the same place, but you were here with me in my virtual yes. playland tonight. So Thank, thank you for having us. Thank yes, you. Good indeed. luck on your break legs, break nails on your recital. Um, and I will be, I'll be checking out the link. Matthew, I'll be following you. Disco Volante. Oh, likewise. Uh, everything. It's a pleasure. Yeah. Really. Love you guys. Be well. We'll see you soon. See Take ya. care. Thank you so much. Yes. And thank you guys for being here tonight. Oh, I, this was great. This was great for me. I hope you had as much fun as I did. I um I love 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 sharing young amazing talent, um and I really they blow me away every time. Thank you, Jane. Thank you, all my cousins, all my friends. Celia Hart from Canada. We have people from Canada and from uh, the UK and people watching everywhere. And um, I'm I'm going to say good night to you now, and I will see you next week. I messed up on the uh, virtual piano bar calendar because I thought next weekend was Memorial Day. So I'm not on the calendar next week, but I'm planning to do a show. I'm not doing one the next week. That's Memorial Day, and that I'm on that calendar. I won't be here, but um, happy birthday, Liberace. And uh, uh, if you come, that's great. If not, we'll see you. Uh, I'll find you in the morning sun. And when the night is new. Oh, but Jack, I have to. I'll be looking at the moon. I've never played with this around my arm before. Happy 102 Liberace. Thank you, friends and family in virtual piano bar land. John Richardson, Bob Egan, he's up next. Joe Regan, Michael Mackesy, Robbie Pate, Todd Alsup, Heather and Stu, and all of you. Love you. Good night.